Good afternoon. My name is Sarah Dixon. I am one of the instructors of HESI, the Health Career Exploration Summer Institute. On behalf of the county, Humboldt County Office of Education, I would like to extend a very special thank you to the people who came together to make this incredible experience possible for the students throughout Humboldt County. June 14th through June 30th, 2021 was the fourth year for the HESI program on the North Coast. Students spent three weeks in class on field trips, gaining amazing experiences as they explored various career options in healthcare. HESI also welcomed a plethora of guest speakers in class to discuss their occupations and answer any and all questions the students had about their field. Thank you to the guest speakers who generously donated their time to speak with the students and to those who opened their doors for our students to participate in a field trip. Thank you to the high school teachers. The students were well prepared for this program by their educational science programs at each of the local high schools. The preparations they received helped their experience in HESI become even more meaningful. Thank you to the family members who supported their students. You made their participation possible. And thank you to our sponsors, the Health Workforce Initiative, St. Joseph Medical Group, College of the Redwoods, Humboldt Del Norte Medical Society, Humboldt County Office of Education, and the Humboldt Workforce Development Board. We are grateful to all of those who made HESI such a success. We have had 16 amazing young women in our program this year. They will be sharing their experiences with all of you. So let's begin. Um, so this is an overview of our HESI experience. I'm Lizzie Johnson, and I'm a 16-year-old Arcata High School senior. I'm Fleming Warner, and I'm a 17-year-old Arcata High senior. So my expectations coming into the program were, of course, we were going to be at the hospital, um, working alongside and shadowing professionals. I was expecting a lot of homework and fast-paced and intense coursework. I decided to do it to gain hands-on experience and explore new career options and I got a recommendation from my high school science teacher Cindy Condit and my friend Flan and coming into the program I had a main my main interest was in pharmacology. Very similarly to Lizzie I expected a lot of classwork and homework. I expected to have some sort of shadowing hands-on experience in which I could have direct interactions with healthcare professionals. I expected to be introduced to a lot of new pathways that maybe I hadn't considered or I didn't even know existed. Um, I also expected a competitive environment, uh, like a lot of pre-health things are. Um, and I applied just like Lizzie because of a positive recommendation about the program from our high school uh, biology and anatomy teacher Cindy Condit. So there were lots of great activities throughout the three weeks, but my favorite two were our trip to the blood bank and the lab presentation. At the blood bank, we got a tour of the facility with Tiffany Armstrong, who is the director of donor services, and then we had the opportunity to donate blood. Tiffany took my blood, which was really great because I have small veins and she did a great job. Um, and then we learned about the importance of blood, blood donations with Jenny Tooley and learned about how blood typing is done with their lab tech Ariel. 
And then the lab presentation was a CLS from St. Joe's and Redwood Memorial, Reagan Yantis. Uh, I learned a lot about how, what lab work is and her job. And I kind of loved how the numbers of different cells and images of uh, samples uh, reflect specific problems in the body. And I hadn't previ previously considered lab work as a career, but now I definitely do. Um, my two favorite activities were the color life flight field trip we got to take and the suturing and injection activity. Um, at the color life flight field trip, we met three flight nurses, Evelyn, Natasha, and CJ, and a paramedic, Austin. And then we briefly got to meet a couple administration members. Uh, we were able to get a full tour of their facility, both on the tarmac and in their little like office area. Um, we were also able to walk through one of their planes and actually sit in it, which was super cool. Um, the flight nurses and the paramedic also gave us a demonstration of how the equipment is put together and how they get that all situated in the air. Um, and while we were at the airport, they're actually doing a like mock um, crisis scenario. And so even though that wasn't associated with Calor, it was super cool to watch. Um, and this field trip was particularly cool to me because when my mom was pregnant with me, she got airlifted with them. And so it was really cool to see like the people behind kind of what saved my life and why I'm here. Um, then the suturing and injection activities were also super cool. We were able to use suture kits and I pr we practiced an interrupting stitch. Um, and we gave inspired insulin injections to fix skin pads. Um, and I partic particularly liked the subcutaneous injections, which are the ones under the skin because it created like a bubble that you then got to pop. Um, and this made me realize how much I love hands-on patient interaction and care. Uh, looking back after the, at the end of the program, uh, obviously we were not in the hospital. It was a lot more listening to presentations and less hands-on, but there were still lots of hands-on opportunities that uh, the instructors managed to bring here, which was really cool. Um, I learned a lot about new professions that I hadn't previously considered, and they were really interesting when I thought lots of them would be kind of boring. Um, I gained insight on others' perspectives and interests, including medical professionals and my peers. Uh, and I thought it was really interesting that the program showed, uh, focused a lot on self-care, which is kind of something that's not usually talked about. Um, and now coming out of HESI, uh, my career ideas are a lab tech or CLS, pathologist, hospital pharmacist, and then still a pharmacologist. Uh, just like Lizzie, uh, the, I obviously this program would end up not being in the student hospital setting. Um, but that, that was like we were still able to bring in some of the experiences that we wouldn't have got if we were in the hospital setting. So that was pretty cool. So like we got to bring in aspects of self-care and professional development. Um, and I learned, I got to learn the role and importance of communication, self-care, and really just the broader role of healthcare workers within the community. And this was specifically demonstrated to me through a presentation given um, uh, about public health, because I didn't necessarily realize the role of doctors and nurses and the hands-on patient care health workers within the broader public health setting. Um, we also got to see and hear from non-traditional healthcare workers, and so that included our, we got to go to the hospice, we heard from a lab tech, the calor, um, uh, psychiatric, and a couple administration members within healthcare. Um, and so going into this program, I was really just interested in like being a family medicine physician. Uh, but coming out of it, I've realized that I really do like the field of emergency medicine and I like the fast-paced aspect of it. And so now I'm considering starting out in emergency medicine.
medicine as a physician and then transitioning into family medicine. So lots of thank yous, thank you to everyone, but specifically Dixon and Becca are great instructors. Uh, Cindy Condon, my high school biology and anatomy teacher who got me ready for this. Reagan Yantis, the CLS, Tiffany Armstrong and everyone at the blood bank. Dr. Burnham, the dentist, Sarah Battle, the RN, Heidi Bourne, who talked about mindfulness, Calor, Life Flight, Casaro's Catering, and Humboldt County Office of Education. And I have a couple of the same ones, uh, so I'm just going to mention those people briefly, Cindy Condit, Dixon, and Becca. Um, and then, of course, my classmates and peers, because like I said, I expected a competitive environment, and instead it was very much supportive, and everyone was super nice and sweet, so that was really nice. Uh, Dr. Neuger, who gave a presentation with the trauma team and is a trauma surgeon. Uh, sushi spot, because we were lucky <laughs> enough to get an amazing sushi meal from them. <laughs> um, Jamie Sun, who was a part of the trauma presentation, who is a physician's assistant. And then, of course, HCOE as well. Okay. Hello everyone, my name is Olivia Alexander and I recently graduated from McKinleyville High School and I plan on attending College of the Redwoods this next upcoming fall and I will be pursuing an associate's degree and I hope to get prerequisites done so I can join the nursing program at CR. majoring in molecular and medical microbiology with a minor in women's studies. So coming into HESI, I didn't have many expectations as to what this was going to be because I wasn't sure what was going to be in this program. But I knew within the first 30 seconds of my teacher explaining to me what the program was all about, that I knew that this was something that I needed to do for myself and because of my interest in the medical field. And my human anatomy and physiology teacher, Mrs. Demlo at McKinleyville High, is the one who introduced me to this program. And after her summarization of the program, I immediately started applying for it. Coming into the HESI program, I knew that I wanted to be a traveling nurse, and I've known since the eighth grade that that is the career I wanted to go to, I wanted to pursue. And, but what I don't, didn't know is when you are a traveling nurse, you can have a specialty or specialize in a specific area. And so coming into HESI, I was hoping to learn more about what I could specialize in specifically. Good. <laughs> uh, so I thought it was gonna be similar to school where you listen to people talk and there's lots of lecturing and that it might be a little bit boring uh, once we learned that we weren't actually going to be going to the hospital. So I, I maybe didn't have the most positive uh, mindset going into this. But I applied because I did a spring seminar my freshman year and heard about this program and thought it sounded super awesome and something I wanted to do. Uh, but I wasn't quite old enough then. And so I applied last year and then it got canceled. And so when I heard that it was happening this year, I was super excited to finally get to do it. Um, my main goal for this was to obtain some hands-on experience and really solidify that um, the career I've been, not working towards, but kind of thinking about is what I really want to do. And that is be an OBGYN physician. So some things that we've done, um, the first one is Regan Yantis, she's a clinical lab scientist. She came in and gave us a presentation about what they do in the lab, and it was, it was fascinating. It was mind-boggling how much information there was. Um, kind of hurt my brain a little bit, but in the best way possible. Uh, she, it was just super cool. She had this, um, basically this page of results, and it's just 
used a bunch of numbers from different tests, and she was able to tell us like who the patient was, what their uh, issue probably was, and it was it was super fascinating. And then another thing that we talked about that I wasn't really expecting to talk about was mental health. There was a big uh, focus on when you're working in a health career to really focus on your mental health and self-care and stuff because it is a very emotionally demanding field. And so the second day we had two presenters. Um, the first one is Heidi Bourne. She's a mindfulness educator. And she talked to us about the um, how meditation can be helpful in relieving stress and how it's important to not really dwell on the negative things because your brain really wants to dwell on them, but that's not really helpful. And then the second one was fairly similar, um, Alon Furpo. She's an attorney, but she gave us a presentation on uh, basically how to be successful in life, which is a fun topic. Everyone wants to know how to do that. And um, I really got from that that do what you want to do and make sure that that's what you want to be doing, but also don't be afraid to try new things because that's how you figure out what you want to do. But both of these women were super inspiring and I really appreciated getting to listen to them. So adding on to what Mackenzie said about the program, the pro this program had amazing experiences that we were able to participate in. And a lot of it, as you can see in the top right photo, we had a lot of hands-on uh, activities that were really great. And one of my favorites, if not my most favorite, was the subcutaneous injections, which I realized, which helped me realize how much I really value uh, like uh, patient care and interacting with patients in the medical field. And so that was something that really helped me narrow down my interest in regards to the healthcare. And another thing that we did a lot was we had field trips, and uh, one of them was to the blood, our local blood bank. And we actually were able to donate blood, which was really great. And we learned quite a lot that I didn't realize, that helped me realize how many different aspects of healthcare there really is, and how there's so many different routes you can go, and how they're all interconnected. And it was really interesting to be able to see all the different professions you can have once you get your foot in the door into healthcare. So overall, from being in the HESI program, I was able to create amazing relationships with both my supervisors and my peers. And I was able to get amazing experiences and have amazing conversations with actual healthcare professionals which helped me not only learn skills that will help me for my future in the medical field, but also just life in general. And overall, the HESI program was an absolute amazing opportunity that I would suggest for anyone, even if you aren't sure what you want to do or if you're, if you're not sure that the medical field is something for you. And overall, because of the HESI program, I now know that I want to specialize as an orthopedic physician's assistant in my travel nursing uh, career. So this program has been really great in helping me narrow down what I want and I recommend for anyone. Uh, so like Liz said, there was a really wide variety of careers that we were exposed to, which wasn't something I was super expecting, but it was really awesome to see all the different ways that you can get into healthcare and, and be involved, but not necessarily have to be in the hospital if, you, if that's not what you want to do. Uh, there was also more hands-on activities than I was expecting, but um, that was good. That's what I wanted was hands-on experience. And so Liv talked about a couple of those, but then another one is here up in the um, top picture. This was during the Stop the Bleed course, and uh, we're practicing doing tourniquets on each other. Uh, so how did HESI change me? It, so I came into this knowing pretty much what I wanted to do, but I was really looking to just solidify that that's what I wanted to spend 12 years learning about. Um, and I think that it did that. I am more passionate than ever about that, and I'm super excited to start my career path. And so while my career goals haven't changed, I'm even more motivated and excited to do it. And then we just want to say thank you to everyone that donated their time to come and speak to us or to Zoom in. Um, we really appreciate it. It was awesome. And then a special thank you to the ACOE folks that made this all possible and to our instructors, uh, Sarah and Becca, for spending their time teaching us. 
And thank you to all the peers and classmates that made this class so much better. It was truly an awesome few weeks experiencing all this stuff. Thank you. I'm Ella Elvine Kreis. Um, I'm 17 and I go to Arcata High School. Um, I'm not sure where I'm going to go yet, but I hope to go somewhere down south for my college and to get my BSN in nursing. Hi, I'm Jody Ford. I'm 18 years old and I'm a newly graduate of Fortuna High and I plan on attending the Washington State University in the fall. For this program, I expected um, to be getting into the hospital. Um, and to learn more about the healthcare field. We didn't end up getting into the hospital, which was okay, because it was still a great experience, um, and I learned a lot. Um, I applied because I wanted to just get a better, better understanding about what goes on in the healthcare field and people's personal experiences. Um, before going into this program, I knew I wanted to be a nurse, but I didn't know specifically what kind of nurse. On the second day of class, Mrs. Dixon had us do a break the ice activity, and she would like say a sentence, and we were supposed to write down the first word that came to our mind. And she asked us how Hesse was, and my word was unexpected. I was hoping that we'd be able to go into the hospital, but unfortunately, because of COVID, we weren't. So it wasn't necessarily how I had planned it in my head. And I applied to gain medical experience and knowledge and create new bonds with my peers. Before HESI, my career goals were to become a trauma surgeon, and that's what they still are today. Um, so I learned a lot of new skills, um, even though we didn't get to go to the actual hospital. Um, I learned how to suture, I learned CPR, um, how to pack, pack a wound to stop the bleeding, and then stop the bleed. Um, QPR, which is like suicide in inter intervention, which I had no knowledge of before. I learned how to put a catheter in, which was kind of gross and weird, but it was cool to know how to do it, I guess. Um, we learned proper PPE, how to like take your gloves off and your mask um, to be safe in the hospital. I learned how to give shots, um, and I also learned how to do an ultrasound, which was really cool to be able to like hear my veins um, and that type of thing. One of my favorite things that we went to to do was Cal or Life Flight. Um, they gave us a really cool tour and we saw um, like helicopters, airplanes. Um, we saw inside the airplane with all like the medical supplies. Um, and it was just really exciting to be able to see that. My two favorite things that we did were going to the Cal or Life Flight base and going to the blood bank. I really liked going to the Cal or Life Flight because we got to see the plane and we got to take a tour of the base and we really got to see the behind the scenes part of it. And we got some more knowledge about what the staff does during the 24 hour shift that they work even when like they aren't out on a call. And then at the blood bank, I really enjoyed seeing the blood typing and like actually watching someone have the blood draw. And then it was really cool to see the blood separate into the platelets and plasma and the red blood. Um, so, like I've said, I was really hoping to get in the hospital, um, but this experience taught me so many skills that I didn't, that I probably wouldn't have learned if I was in the hospital, like communicating with your peers um, and difficult patients in the future. Um, and we also had a great speaker come in and talk to us about mental health and how important it is, especially in this field, to just take care of yourself. Um, so that was really cool. Um, so after this experience, I really hope to become a flight nurse or a surgical nurse or like an ER nurse. I haven't quite decided, but we learned a lot about all of those, and so I'm really excited. I definitely expected it to be more hands-on and more in-person lectures, although I understand that some of our lectures going to be in-person due to COVID, but I still appreciate them taking the time to speak to us. 
and I thought there would be more labs, but there were plenty of times that you could do labs. And this experience just gave me more of an insight into the medical and health career field, and it makes me feel even more eager to start my career in that field. And my career goal is still the same after HESI. We'd like to thank Sarah Dixon, Rebecca Cornelius, Natasha Melindy, who's an RN, Austin, who's a paramedic, the Northern California Community Blood Bank, Sarah Battles, who's Sarah Battles, excuse me, who's an RN, Brandon Cliff, who's an RN, Dr. Neuger, Jamie Sun, who's a physician assistant, Dr. Burnham, CJ Genesi, who's the clinical manager at Tower. Um, we'd also like to thank Dr. Lisa, who is a trauma surgeon, um, and Dr. Connor, who taught us about vaccines, and the catering company, of course. This is our HESI experience. Um, hi, my name is Molly Hernandez. I'm 17 years old, and I'm going to be a senior at Fortuna High. Um, my plans after high school is to go to a four-year university and get into a nursing program. My name is Lillian Kirk. I'm 16 years old, and I'm going to be a senior at Fortuna High this upcoming year. And my plans after high school are to attend a four-year college and then go to med school. Um, my expectations going into the HESI program was like most of everybody's, was hoping to go into a hospital and kind of see the inside scoop of a hospital life. Um, I applied to the HESI program to get a better knowledge of all medical careers that I might want to pursue. Um, I heard about the HESI program my freshman year, and from then, um, my interest for the program has just grown from there. Um, my career goal um, before HESI is to become a pediatric nurse. Uh, my expectations before participating in the HESI program was, again, to go to the hospital and get the shadow professionals. Um, I also expected a lot of homework assigned each night and a lot of studying. Um, I applied in order to explore various healthcare career options and to sort of see what the day-to-day -day life of someone working in the healthcare field is like. Um, also having Miss Dixon as an anatomy teacher, it kind of like she recommended it and talked about it. So right whenever she started talking about it, I knew it was something I wanted to do. Um, my career goal before HESI was to become an anesthesiologist. Um, I wanted to be in the medical field for as long as I can remember. And in eighth grade, I was kind of set on becoming an anesthesiologist. Um, and another reason I want to be one is because I want to be in the OR and part of the surgery, but I don't want to necessarily be the one doing the cutting and the one inside the person. <laughs> so, yeah, I feel like an anesthesiologist will really give me a nice inside scoop and insight on the surgery in the OR. Um, during HESI, we did a lot of activities and field trips, but two that stood out to me um, was learning how to give shots, as you can see in the top two pictures um, that was really fun and interesting and something that I would like to continue learning about. Um, one field trip that was really cool and interesting to me was the Calor Life flight, something that I didn't really know that we had at our airport or really knew much about. So it was really interesting to hear and see all that they had. Um, during the HESI program, we got a chance to visit Hospice of Humboldt facility and also we got a video of the physical therapy office at Redwood Memorial Hospital. And during the HESI program, we met with a lot of people, but a couple of people that stood out to me was um, Sarah Battle, who is a registered nurse, um, Corey, or Dr. Corey Lewis, who talked to us about communication, and Dr. Connor, who is a physician and talked to us about vaccinations. Um, with each presentation and everyone we talked with, I felt like I learned some new terminology, even if it was minor. And then two components that I would say I enjoyed the most from HESI would have to be learning how to perform sutures and getting the chance to practice on bananas as seen in the top picture. Um, and then getting to talk to Sarah Battle, who is an RN, and getting to ask her all sorts of questions and have her provide answers, that really kind of gave us an insight to like what the ER looks like. And then through the HESI program, we got to see so many different things. 
some of my favorites were the inside and lab section of the blood bank and getting to donate blood. Um, also the Cowler Life Flight Facility. And then again, we met so many people and staff members from the, this experience and some that stood out to me were Mark Gardner, who is a physical therapist for outpatient rehab, Dr. Burnham, who is a dentist, and Reagan Yantis, who is a clinical lab scientist. And then yeah, throughout this program, I've studied and learned over 75 new med terms. Um, reflection. So my reflection is, well, we weren't, we were unable to go to the hospital, which was a bummer, but also it gave us a couple opportunities to meet with people that we might have not been able to in a hospital setting, which was really interesting to hear. Um, what I have changed from being in the HESI program, really I've learned so much more about the medical fields and careers that they have and opportunities that we have up in here in Humboldt. Um, also, just to always have an open mind. You never know what's going to happen. You never know opportunities that are going to get that you're going to have. And so, always have an open mind. And the second thing is just we've learned so many skills that I uh, feel like that I will start to use in my daily life because it's just so much great information that we've learned throughout this program. Um, I'm still interested in becoming a pediatric nurse. But also through the HESI program, I've learned that becoming a nurse gives you a whole bunch of opportunities. If you want to be an ER nurse, you can do that. If you want to be an ICU nurse, you can change your field of nursing, and I find that so interesting. And then some things that I expected from the HESI program that did not actually like happen was that it didn't take place in the hospital because of COVID. And there was not an insane amount of homework or anything, and the homework we did have I found pretty like interesting and exciting to do. Um, I'm also much more aware of what goes on in the medical field and I feel much, feel much more confident in my skills. Also just like improve social skills, like communicating with people and asking more questions. And then I still aspire to become an anesthesiologist, but now I'm also considering a sort of like a backup plan as becoming some sort of CLS. Um, we would like to give a big thank you to Sarah Dixon, Becca Cornelius, Megan Freitas, <laughs> Uh, the Humboldt County Office of Education staff and all of our guest speakers and presenters and then the group of girls that we got to share this experience with. Thank you. This is our HESI experience. My name is Alyssa Kringle. I am 18 years old. I have just recently graduated from McKinleyville High, and next fall I will be attending Chico State to pursue my degree in nursing, and I hope to eventually become a physician's assistant. Uh, hi, my name is Meadow Jennings. I'm 17 years old. I'm a rising senior at Arcata High School, and my goal is to pursue a bachelor's degree in neuroscience. So I applied to HESI because I have an interest in rural health care that I gained after volunteer experience at one of our local hospitals where I could most clearly identify the need for rural health care professionals and I've always um, had an interest in helping people and I felt like this would best serve my personality. Um, my career goals prior to starting HESI excuse me, HESI, were to become a physician's assistant or nurse practitioner in women's health. And I expected it to be competitive, largely focused on professionalism and career exploration. I expected a little bit less homework because I took the summer seminar, so I figured it would be kind of like that. I was sorely mistaken. Um, and I expected to see some pretty gnarly, pretty gory stuff, but I was excited about it. Uh, my expectations were to gain some first-hand experiences in the medical field. I wanted to open my eyes to various healthcare careers that I didn't think I had that much information about. Um, my career, go career goals prior to starting the program were to study neurology and neuroscience and do a career related to that, so potentially neurosurgery. And uh, I expected that the program would be very rigorous and academically challenging. I expected extensive amounts of homework, and I expected to just learn a lot about the medical field and get a lot of hands-on experience. 
Um, one of my favorite activities was um, registered dietitian Martha Shanahan's presentation on public health um, because I'm interested in minoring in public health in my higher education. So during her presentation, I got to learn what public health was and its significance. And my favorite part of her presentation was how resources are being allocated throughout our county and what our county public health is doing for the um, underserved populations in Humboldt. And I think I found this to be the most valuable because I will learn which, um, which characteristics I need to further develop in myself to be successful in this profession and to just kind of see what our county needs because I do intend to come home after completing my education. And a new term that I learned in this presentation was a TPN feed, which is just synonymous with IV feeding. Um, and the second, my second favorite activity was renewing my CPR certification. Um, Becca, our lovely instructor, taught us how to do that and to operate a automated external defibrillator. Um, I liked this because it was hands-on, but yes, it was hands-on, but also it was a really good opportunity for all of us that were participating in this certification to kind of bond and build a, and build a relationship. We laughed, we had a good time, I loved it. Um, it's a staple skill in medicine. You can never make sure you're cracking somebody's ribs correctly too many times. Um, and she told me that my carotid artery was super excellent. Uh, this is the product. Um, some new terms that I learned were LLF, which stands for look, listen, and feel, and the Good Samaritan Law, which means that you'll be protected for um, performing CPR on an unconscious individual. Uh, one of my favorite parts of the program was the lab department presentation with Regan Yantis, a CLS from St. Joe's and Redwood Memorial. Uh, she really explored laboratory medicine and what it entails and showed how it was crucial to diagnosis, treatment, and prevention. Um, one of the main reasons I really appreciated this presentation was because it explored an essential but often less recognized area of medicine because the lab isn't really seen by the general public. Uh, it also focused on the science behind medicine, the chemistry, the microbiology, which I found really fascinating. And it has many different specialties, which I didn't know, so hematology, uh, chemistry, urinalysis. And some new terms I learned from this presentation were Hill Index, which is the most common reason why results or why tests have to be redone, and BUN, which stands for blood urea nitrogen, and that typically shows liver or kidney failure. And then another part of the program that I really enjoyed was the Stop the Bleed course with Brandon Cliff and Carrie Van Diver. And these were stimulations to respond to emergency bleeding. So they showed the essential steps to stopping a bleed, which were applying pressure, packing, and use of a tourniquet, depending on the situation. And I enjoyed this experience because it was hands-on. It's essential first responder information, no matter what career you're in. And it's com a commonly used procedure that people could need at any time. So I thought that was really important. Um, and one term from this uh, presentation was ABC, which is just the steps to stopping a bleed, uh, alert, bleeding, and compress. This program differed from what I expected because, like I said previously, there was more homework, more presentations, um, and there was more focus on self-care, which I think is hugely important because oftentimes I feel like we've seen um, less proactive care around self-care and those that work in medicine and I think it was really important to emphasize that it is a um, more preventative measure um, and this experience changed me because I have a newfound curiosity for um, other fields in medicine that I can use to obtain my hours before I go to physician's assistant school because before you become a PA you need a certain amount of practicing hours so now one of my newer career goals, I guess you could say, is to be an EMT or a flight nurse in between, or upon completion of nursing school and in between physician's assistant school. And it also gained a new perspective on county health resources, which I believe will prove super important to me as my, per my career progresses, excuse me. Um, so 
this experience was different than I expected in that it had less homework and it was less competitive and more focused on supporting each other and really just getting the most out of the program. Uh, there was more focus on overall well-being and health, which I think is really important because uh, a lot of healthcare uh, professionals focus on helping others and not on themselves. Uh, and there was no hospital experience, which was to be expected with COVID. Uh, but we also had many hands-on experiences outside of the hospital setting, which I found to be really valuable. Um, and this experience changed me because it did increase my awareness in many fields of medicine that are less recognized. It increased my understanding of medical concepts and it cultivated and increased my curiosity and passion for medicine. And I'm still interested in neurology and neuroscience and being a neurosurgeon, but I also really, it opened my eyes to the fact that nursing is an uh, amazing and valuable career that I would like to consider in the future. And Lastly, oh, thank yous. <laughs> Lastly, we'd just like to give a big thank you to all of our instructors and all of our presenters that took time out of their busy schedule to come teach us about what they do and to build the next generation of health professionals. We appreciate you endlessly. Hi, my name is Marisa Sears. I'm 17 years old, and I am an incoming senior at Fortuna High School. Hi, I'm Rebecca Barnett. I'm 16 years old, and I'm an incoming junior at McKinleyville High School. So I first heard about HESI my freshman year, and I was immediately interested. So my sophomore year, I applied, and then I got shut down due to COVID. So in that past year, I did more research on my own and figured out that I wanted to become a surgeon. And so I applied again this year and I was expecting to be able to go into the hospital and shadow different doctors and different departments and to really make sure that surgery was what I wanted to do, but we didn't go to the hospital. <laughs> so I heard about this program through my teacher and I obviously expected to be in the hospital because normal years it would be, but due to COVID can't, which makes sense. And I was expecting a lot of hands-on activities and I was really excited to wear scrubs. Don't know why, but that was like probably one of the things I was most excited for. I applied because I always have had an interest in learning about medical topics, and I wanted to see if I could see myself doing this as a career and learn more about specific healthcare jobs. And my career goals before HESI were to be a pediatrician. So some, we did a lot of activities in HESI, um, but some of my favorite were doing sutures with um, fake skin pads and on bananas. I have previous experience in suturing, so being able to do that was really able, I was able to enhance my skills and s learn some new stitches. And then we also, with Dr. Yunin, we did some oral health and we carved teeth out of soap bars. And I worked in a dental lab, and so I was able to use those skills to carve the teeth um, and then there was a lot of impactful presentations, including the trauma department with Carrie Van Diver, Jamie Sun, and Dr. Nuger. Um, there was a clinical laboratory um, presentation with Reagan Yantis and immunizations with Dr. Connor. Activities and field trips that I enjoyed was the nursing presentation with Sarah Battle. I think we can all agree that we loved her. She was just an amazing person in her job and just as a regular person. She made it very interesting and informative, and I never thought about nursing before, but after her presentation, it sounded like something that I could see myself doing, and she just seemed so happy in her job and that there was always exciting new things for her to do. And then I also enjoyed Dr. Burnham's dentist presentation. I never thought about myself being a dentist, but I was actually really interested in teeth that I didn't think I would be, and it sounded like a job that the environment was just so happy and he seemed very happy doing it. Yeah. 
And then what I saw and experienced was many different health careers that I liked to learn about. And I met other HESI participants, like the peers that I'm working with and healthcare workers. And I could also see what different personalities fit what kind of jobs to see where I would belong. So my overall experience was very good. I was able to make some great connections with my peers that I could use in the future as we're growing up into our medical careers. And I was able to meet a lot of um, the presenters that I could possibly make connections with later on. And I learned specifically what I would like to pursue, which is like emergency medicine. I want to become a trauma surgeon. And I was able to enhance my different skill sets, like suturing. Um, and I learned about other possible job opportunities that I didn't know about before, but are still very interesting to me if I don't decide to come become a trauma surgeon. My overall experience was different than I initially thought because we weren't obviously allowed to go into the hospital, but I'm very thankful for what we did get to do, and we learned so much even without being in the actual setting. We still learned about all those health careers and I liked getting to learn the specifics and more in depth about them. And I now know what I'm interested in and what I'm definitely not interested in. And I made new friends and bonded with people and had lots of great food provided for us that we all enjoyed. <laughs> so I would like to thank Sarah Dixon, my teacher who initially got me involved with this and who has been our instructor throughout the last few weeks and she's done a great job as well as Sarah Battle, Dr. Connor, the Blood Bank staff, Casaro's Catering Company, and the Cal or Life Light staff. And I would like to thank Humboldt County Office of Education for making this whole thing possible by giving us a place to do it at, and Megan Freitas for also making it possible by helping out in our weird times of COVID, Rebecca Cornelius for being another great instructor, Kimberlyn Demlo for being my teacher and introducing me to the HESI program, Corey for being amazing and teaching us about communication and it was a fun presentation and Nicole for also giving us an amazing presentation and being such an amazing person and manager at her job that you don't see very often. Hi, my name is Shawson Osorio. Um, I'm 17 years old and I'm going to be an incoming senior at Fortuna High. Uh, my name is Brisa Contreras and I am 17 years old and I'm also going to be a senior at Fortuna High. My expectations from this program were throughout the months of waiting for this program, I had the expectation of entering the hospital, but due to COVID, that wasn't possible. Um, another pos uh, expectation that I had was if we could not enter the hospital, that we would have pro professionals who dedicated their time um, would be coming in person and also hearing from different, um, all actually um, each department in the hospital. Uh, some of my ex expectations were that we were going to have a lot of tests and quizzes since Ms. Dixon was our anatomy teacher and she would assign one every single week. Mm -hmm. um, we, I also expected us to have a lot of nightly homework that would be very time consuming and very long. Um, I decided to do HESI because Ms. Dixon was my anatomy teacher and she had told me about the HESI program and encouraged me to apply. She really motivated me to do this and I'm really glad that I did. Um, with this, I knew that I would be able to learn about different aspects of health and obtain more knowledge from various professionals. Before HESI, I was stuck between pursuing a career, career in criminology or nursing. I was convinced to apply to HESI by a friend because she was also unsure if she was going to be pursuing a career in the medical field. And um, I at first wanted to be an orthodontist, but now I think m I have changed my mind. <laughs> One of the first activities that we did was the Stop the Bleed course. This course was created after the Sandy Hook shooting. Um, trauma manager Carrie Van, Van Diver and RN Brandon Kilf demonstrated how to control emergency bleeding by packing wounds and using tourniquets. 
about another one of the activities we did with suturing. We did banana suturing, which means each student got a banana, we drew faces on them. We had a partner and we traded, and then we made an incision on the banana and sutured it back up. And we also did a sub activity, which um, a sub activity which we carved teeth out of soap. Um, one of the last activities that we did was nursing skill stations that we learned from Erin O'Brien. She came in and taught us basic nursing skills that they do at the nur uh, nursing program at CR. And we learned how to do injections, don and doffing, PPE, using sterile equipment, putting in a catheter, and more. Uh, we took a few field trips. We got to go to the blood bank and we got a tour of the facility and the lab. We also got to donate blood, and we also got to see whole blood, plasma, platelets, and blood typing. The second field trip that we took was to the Hospice of Humboldt. This facility, facility is for the end-of-life care and services for families of patients in Humboldt County. It is a very beautiful facility, and we met ama many amazing um, staff professionals, and it was a great experience. And the last field trip we took was to Cal Or Life Flight, which is for uh, specialized in emergency medical transportation. Uh, we saw how they set up a patient, and we got to also see inside of their plane. Uh, we got to meet a lot of professionals like flight nurses, EMTs, and they were all really cool. My overall experience was that I knew we weren't going to have the ideal HESI experience, but I was very grateful and proud that I was chosen to do this program. I built many connections with various people. I practiced different skills such as communication, procedures, and more. I met um, really amazing professionals and they were all really, really cool. And after taking this program, I am sure that I want to pursue a career as a nurse practitioner. I also got to meet a lot of professionals and it did help me decide what were my likes and dislikes in the medical field. I, it definitely did give me a lot of ideas of career paths that I would be interested in pursuing in the future. And I also built a lot of connections and met great people. I was very grateful for being able to, part, to be a part of this program and I did gain a lot of skills and knowledge. Um, after this program, I know I do want to pursue a career in the medical field, and I did realize I have an interest in pediatric radiology or something in pediatrics. Um, we'd like to give a lot of thank yous. Um, thank you to our teacher, Ms. Dixon. Uh, Becca Cornelius. Megan Freitas. HCOE. Erin O'Brien. Uh, Reagan Yentis. Sarah Battle. Dr. Connor. Dr. Burnham. Cal or Life Flight all, staff. All the girls. <laughs> and our parents and other supporters in our lives. Thank you. Alrighty, so this is our HESI overview. I'm Grace Hayes. I'm 18 and I recently graduated from Eureka High, class of 2021. Um, and I hope to pursue a career in nursing. I'm Sierra Cochran, 17 years old of age. I'm an incoming senior at Fortuna High School and I plan on attending a four year university and hopefully becoming a nurse. Alrighty, so some of my expectations before this program um, that I had where I thought it was going to be a ton of homework. I thought I was going to be a lot of being talked at instead of talked to, just given some previous experiences that I've had um, in schooling. Um, and then I also thought that there was going to be constant studying, um, and then that we were only going to be looking at a select few careers, um, and those actually happened to be the ones that I was only exposed to. Little did I know that's going to be the opposite of what it was. Um, and I thought that we were only going to be talking to people on Zoom, also because everything with COVID has been, um, has been either on Zoom and very little in person. Um, and I also thought it was going to be a lot of book work as well. Um, and then I applied because it was just too good of an opportunity to pass up. I'd actually applied a little while ago and then it got canceled. And then I was like, nope, I want to do this again. Um, and then the skills and the connections that I'd be um, making and learning were a part of that deal where it was way too good to pass up and I knew I wasn't going to get it any other way. Um, and I really wanted to explore some different, um, different careers and see what I could do because I knew that there was room for different jobs and careers in the field. Um, I just didn't know what. 
And then, so before the program, I was definitely thinking of nursing, and I thought that ever since I was a little kid. Um, I really liked the idea of being a CRNA, which is a certified registered nurse anesthetist. Um, given a previous experience I had with one, I loved her job, and um, it really just stuck with me, and that's something I'd want to do for other people, um, considering I am someone who is very, very social. Um, for me, uh, my expectations were that it was going to be really exciting, tons of homework, new career opportunities, um, a lot of studying. I thought it was only going to be over Zoom due to COVID. Um, I did know that there was not going to be a hospital because, you know, hospitals aren't going to let us in because of the circumstances that we have at the moment. Um, I applied because Sarah Dixon, um, she is a previous teacher of mine and teacher of mine next year. I actually have two classes with her. She um, inspired me to apply. I actually applied last year, but it got canceled. <laughs> Um, it's a great, I thought it was a really great opportunity. Like I know that I wanted to go into medical, the medical field. I just didn't know like what exactly. Um, I thought it was going to be a good opportunity to explore different career paths. Um, before going into this PESI, sorry, um, I knew that I wanted to become something in the nursing field, just didn't know what I wanted. Alrighty, so of course, I've been hearing about a bunch of the activities and field trips that we've got to do. Um, I loved all of them that we all got to participate in, but some of the two of them that come to mind are, the, it was the Q&A session with Sarah Battle, who's a registered nurse, um, and she talked about her job and her role in the hospital and what she does, um, also in the ED and PCU, just for starters. Um, and then she just told us about everything and different terms that they use, and I even learned that the term geriatrics refers to an older like group of people among our population. I have little older parents and definitely heard it used in other things, but it definitely caught my attention as, hey, that's interesting, and it's something that stuck with me. Um, and then another activity that we did was just the other day. It was a field trip to the Cal or Life Flight Base, um, and then there we got to see how they do things, what their vans look like, their equipment. That was really, really cool. Not what I was expecting. Um, and something that I also thought was really cool that I learned was that they typically work about a 24 hour long shift. Um, working myself, <laughs> I'm young, but I still can't seem to push myself past an eight or a nine hour shift and I don't know how they do it. Um, I also uh, learned and also got to see it was something cool uh, when we were there and they were telling us about things, it was an MCE, which was a mass casualty event, but it was a practice for it by other forms of EMS. And it was really, really cool. I hadn't seen one of those before. So one of the best enjoyed events that I got to participate in was giving shots. I really loved giving shots. <laughs> that was something I really enjoyed especially just getting a feel of it. Um, I also really like doing CPR and doing stop the bleeding exercises. I also found it really interesting how Dr. Gibbs uses um, rap and hip hop in his work to like help people understand the importance of teeth and how rap helps that. Um, what I experienced was I really liked the blood bank. I really love behind the scenes of the blood bank. After you get your blood taken from you, it was really interesting how, what they do with it and how they do it. Um, it was also really cool how the machine, like when you give like platelets or plasma or whatever, so really cool how that machine works. I found that really mind blowing. Uh, it was also really interesting to feel like my own vein, like bouncing up and down and underneath my skin. I was like, how does it bounce? But like, that's something you learn in healthcare. You learn something new every single day. And that's something that really inspires me. Alrighty, and so for an overall experience on my end, something that I experienced that was way different than what I was expected was that nothing was a competition. All of us were here to lift each other up. Um, given my past in schooling, and that's definitely what it seems like. Everyone's racing against each other, always wants to do the best. Of course, that was that for 
it was the case for all of us, but we weren't pulling each other down or anything, and we were all trying to do the best that we could to help other people in the class. Um, and this experience changed me by giving me more confidence, in a good way, that being said. Um, and it made me not afraid to try things that I hadn't ever done any done before, um, like suturing and then getting a chance to renew my CPR certifica certification because I'd previously had that. Um, and then it also changed my perspective on healthcare. It widened my eyes to all the possibilities that's in it um, versus the little window that I had and that I could only see before this program. Um, and then as far as a new career goal uh, goes, I still like the idea of being a CRNA, but also like Becca, <laughs> I really like the idea of being a flight nurse. I've always heard about that job and going to the Cal or Life Flight Base, that really solidified, hey, this is a cool option. You should definitely try that out. Um, different from what I expected was I met new people from different career paths every single day. It was always something new. And new terminology every single day, it was something new that you never even heard of. Um, you got to ask a lot of questions that you, you needed to ask to be able to understand what was actually going on. You, ha you actually got to see people in person, not over Zoom, which I thought it was gonna be over Zoom. Um, and you actually got to practice procedures that you didn't think that you were actually going to be able to do. Um, so I thought that was really interesting. Um, it changed me in how I approach and talk to people. Um, it also gave me an understanding of what kind of stress medicine does to people and how they cope with it. Um, and overall, it gave me more confidence in myself. Um, I still think I want to pursue nursing because it's always been something I really wanted to do. But I also think a clinical lab scientist would be really interesting for me. Alrighty, and then for some thank yous, I would like to acknowledge and thank all of our guest speakers, whether it was in Zoom or in person, College of the Redwoods, Humboldt County Office of Education, Megan Freitas, uh, Sarah Dixon, Becca Cornelius, Casaro's Catering, um, and also Tara Sanchez and Alicia Mingle at Eureka High, two teachers that worked very diligently in my life to give me the proper information so I could be able to apply for this program. And then also my parents for helping me follow my dreams. I really wouldn't be in this spot without them. I mean, I do have a job and they're really helping me on top of their jobs as well, put one foot in front of the other. And that's really helping me get to where I wanna go. And same with Grace, um, pretty much the same thing, but I would also like to thank my mom for always standing by my side and encouraging me to actually go through with this. And anyone else who has ever helped me follow my dreams or believed in me. And all you lovely ladies for making this experience wonderful and enjoyable. I really appreciate that. Thank you. So we would like to hand out certifications to the students who have finished our HESI program. So we'll call you out one by one and just come up and snag it and then back to your seat. Flannery Warner. <laughs> Sierra Cochran. Mackenzie Bray. <laughs> Rebecca Barnett. <laughs> Olivia Alexander. <laughs> Molly Hernandez. Marisa Sears. Thank you. 
Lily Carrick. Jody Ford. Jocelyn Osorio. Meadow Jennings. Grace Hayes. Eleanor Elvin Trace. Elizabeth Johnson. Brisa Contreras. And Alyssa Kringle. And that is it for our HESI. Sarah, would you like to say anything? Okay. Thank you so much for being a part of our HESI. Um, and thank you for taking the time to watch this. Have a good day.